Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a looper with one track using layers in Reaper. Now, in a few previous videos, I showed you how to create loopers in different ways. The first way was using a plugin right over here called Super 8 Controlled Looper. And it looks like this. And we can do all the looping in this plugin. But in this video, we're going to do it differently. Also, I created a multi track looper video where each pass or each part was on a different track. But again, in this video, we're going to do it differently. We're going to put all the parts or all the passes on one track. And I've already set up that track for my guitar. I set up the input where my guitar is plugged in. I added some effects like delay and reverb. So we're ready to record guitar on this track. But we should change a few things. First, let's go to the options menu and go down here to new recording that overlaps existing items and change it from the default to this option down here. Creates new items in separate lanes or layers, which is going to allow us to create multiple parts on one track. And then also choose Always Add Takes to New Recorded Items When Looping, which is really helpful if we don't perform this well on the first pass. It'll create takes that we could choose from. Then we'll go to the monitoring over here, right click it. And besides monitoring the input, we're also going to turn on monitor track media when recording. This will allow us to hear the previous parts on this track while we're recording. Now, this next part is optional, but it's really helpful. Let's go to the actions menu, show action list, and let's create a custom action. Right over here, we'll name it looper. Then we'll go to the filter and type in Transport Record. And there's an option right here that's going to allow us to punch out while recording. So we'll choose this. And the next step is to choose the previous take. So let's type that in. There's an option right here. Switch items to previous take, which in most cases is going to be the best one. So as we're playing, we'll punch out and choose the previous take. Then we're going to crop to just that take, which will delete all the bad ones. So let's type in crop take and choose the option here, crop to active take in items. That'll just clean it up and remove all the bad takes. And this will all happen in one action. Let's give it a keyboard shortcut. I'm going to use Control R, but of course, you could use any keyboard shortcut that you want. So now we hit this key, it's going to punch out a recording, choose the previous take, and then crop to it, or delete the unwanted ones. Just keeps it cleaner. And we only have to do it in one step. So now we're ready to record our part. Let's create some loop points from bar one to bar five, turn on looping down here, and we're ready to record our parts. And we could stop after each one, or just keep going one after another. Let's give it a shot. Hit that custom keystroke. And back into record to record the next part. Hit that keystroke. Back into record. And let's double that part. Let's pan this. 
this one to the left, and this one to the right. Let's go back into record. that keystroke we could readjust the volume on that part right here let's go back into record let's record a melody guitar Keystroke. And we can record the next part. I don't really like this one, so even though we saved it, we could still delete it and do it again. Let's pan this a bit to the right. Bring the volume down a bit. Bring this one to the left. And let's record a harmony part. Bring down the volume and pan it to the right. And we could also stop and still add parts afterwards, or delete any of these and re-record them. Let's add one more. We're done and we're happy with this, we could rearrange parts afterwards. For example, let's select all these, copy them, and paste them at bar five, and then again at bar nine, and just keep going. And then we could arrange them by just muting them or unmuting them. We want to start off with the first part, let's mute all these. And then have it come in with the eighth notes right here. Then bring in the chickas right here. Then the melody. The high part right here. Then the harmony right here. And then finally, everything comes in. So it sounds like this.
think you get the idea. If you want to treat these separately, you could always move them to different tracks. But in general, this is how we set up a looper to record everything on one track. It's very fast if you add in the custom action, and it's very easy and creative. So anyway, that's creating a looper with one track using layers in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.